Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside. Terminator Dark Fate was directed by Tim Miller, and this time around in the sixth movie in the Terminator franchise, but it's technically supposed to be the real Terminator 3, not to be confused with Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machines, but guess what? A Terminator gets sent back in time to kill somebody important for the future human survival, and then another Terminator gets sent back in time to protect the person, and then Sarah Connor is there, and then Arnold is there as well, and they gotta stop the Terminator and, you know, save the future. Things we've totally never seen before in a Terminator movie. And before we go any further, if you guys haven't already, please get to hitting that like and subscribe button if you live talking by movies. But any hoops, so, Terminator Dark Fate. It's a Terminator movie, alright. Okay, so, well, positives first. It's great to see Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor, you know, a bit older, a bit more experienced, even more jaded than she was. She's basically just kind of like Han Solo in The Force Awakens, where, you know, she's the older, really experienced character, does a few wisecracks here and there, just kind of, kind of a piece of the past to kind of just transition into this future cast, which we'll get into that later. And then also, you know, Arnold, of course, is back as a T-800, which, you know, it's like... You can't really have a Terminator movie, I guess, without Arnold, and I do kind of like what they did with him in this movie. It's a little different than what we've seen before, but not all that different. But, you know, still, it's like, it's always good to see Arnold as this character. And, uh, yeah, aside from that, everything else in this movie is just stuff that we've seen a million times throughout six Terminator movies. Nothing new. In fact, some things are even worse than previous movies, like the action. The action is nothing memorable. You know, I think there are a decent amount of practical elements in said action scenes, but they're just so over the top. They're not particularly grounded like they kind of were in previous movies. Movies. And also the editing is so terrible in some of them. It's like it just cut 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 I couldn't even tell like where characters were supposed to be in the geography of the scene What was going on how things just kind of jumped uh, abruptly in some areas And then we've got Gabriel Luna as the Rev-9 the new evil Terminator and once again There's just nothing new about this new evil Terminator. It's the same liquid metal ID He can turn his arms into daggers and stuff He can take the form of other people and it's like this just really nothing new about it. I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool how the liquid metal thing could come off the endoskeleton and then, you know, kind of basically have two Terminators like that, but it's like, it just feels like they're just out of ideas as far as new evil Terminators go. And also, why the hell hasn't Skynet or Legion, as it's called now, like, the idea is like a new Skynet type thing was invented in the future, so now it's this Legion thing that's making Terminators for some reason. Well, why don't either of these evil corporations that make these Terminators, why haven't they made them able to fly yet? You know, there are so many moments where Gabriel Luna could just so easily kill his target if he could just, you know, pick up off the ground and Superman over to her. It's like, it just seems like you could be putting in some very obvious improvements to these evil Terminators, but you just keep giving us the T-1000, but slightly different every time. You know, it's been said a million times already, but this movie is basically the Force Awakens equivalent of a Terminator movie. You know, it's supposed to be a sequel to the original movies that everybody loves. You know, bring in some older characters, give us some new ones, basically tell the same story all over again, but, you know, give us hope for the future. But the problem is The Force Awakens was effective because it, number one, wasn't attempt number four to bring the magic of the series back, and number two, yeah, it was repetitive of A New Hope, but it gave us some new exciting characters that we want to see go on this new journey, and The Force Awakens ends with these new characters taking up the reins of the older characters, and you actually want to see what they do next, but this time it's like, this is the same ending we've seen like five times already with, oh, the future is not written yet, but some way, somehow, we're gonna get a future where humans are screwed and the Terminators are gonna rise up. And not to mention there are some things that are just not explained whatsoever where it's like you could really use some explanation throughout so you just leave kind of confused about certain elements of the story. And then there are some weird clunky flashbacks or flash forwards into the resistance time where it's like, yeah, these are just really awkward. They screw up the 
pacing horribly, and it's like, yeah, we just kind of need to get this information across, so it's like, who cares if things don't flow properly? And without getting deep into spoiler town, John Connor is once again completely wasted as a character. You know, probably some of you have heard the leaks about, like, what exactly happens to him in this movie, which I don't want to reveal it, but it's like, that really got on my nerves, because it just feels like they can't figure out what to do with the John Connor character, so it's like... So coming into this movie, I didn't have a whole lot of faith in it just because it's attempt number four to bring the franchise back to its glory, like I mentioned before, and it's number six in this franchise. And honestly, I feel like I wouldn't be as harsh to it if this was like the first Terminator movie we'd gotten in like 10 years or so. You know, like say they tried Terminator Salvation and it didn't work and then the franchise just sit for 10 years, but it's like there have been so many attempts to bring this franchise back. It's like, okay. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna tell the same story again? You know, just because Star Wars was able to come back with a cool new generation story that kind of retread the old ground, but then gave us some old characters we wanted to see again, just because you do that doesn't mean it's going to work. So, really, the problem is, if this movie does not succeed financially, then they're just gonna try again in five years, like they did the last three times they made Terminator movies, so it just feels like Hollywood needs to stop trying to make the Terminator work and maybe just try something new, as in a new franchise. Unless you could come up with something totally cool and inventive with a new Terminator, just stop. Please, just stop. So all in all, Terminator Dark Fate is probably like the third or the fourth or the fifth best Terminator movie out there. You know, of course, one and two are the best ones. You know, three, Rise of the Machines, I think is not as bad as some people say. Four is just completely wasted. Five is offensive to the eyes. I mean, so this one's like a little more competent than a couple of those sequels, but it's like, just stick with one and two and you'll be totally happy. So those are my thoughts on Terminator Dark Fate, and again, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you live talking by movies, well then you belong here on the Brockup side. But anyway, so, if you guys have seen Terminator Dark Fate, then type that down below, and we'll see you on the Brockup side.